What's up? My name is Brugly, and in this video, we're gonna be doing something slightly different than my normal Backrooms Levels explanations. Yes, because in this video, I'm gonna be ranking a tier list of a ton of Backrooms Levels. There's like 30 levels here, and I'm gonna be ranking them from S to F, you know, best to worst, worst to best. I have pretty high hopes. I have some controversial opinions as well, and I wanna see your thoughts on that in the comments. So without any more blabbering on from me, let's get into the video shall we all right so this is the tier list you know up here's got god tier up here's trash and we have um regular levels enigmatic levels popular levels pretty much you've heard of all these and i think i've done explanations on every one of them so yeah let's just jump right into this level nine i think level nine embodies something uh basic about the back rooms i think it's like the core liminal values it's just a liminal looking neighborhood it's pretty empty i'm gonna put it in very cool because i love the aesthetic of an empty neighborhood. I don't know. Might be good. I, I, okay, I'll leave it at good. Now, level 10, the wheat field. Uh, if you've seen this before, you know that it's just like an expanding field of foggy wheat with uh, some random structures. I really like this level as well. I don't think it's quite on the level of uh, level 9, though. I'll put it at okay for now. Why is why is okay misspelled? Do you see that? That's weird. Also, you guys like the, uh, the J Schlatt look I got going on here. So, Level 11. I think level 11 is a very cool one. And I think that because it was the first level that had like colonies on it. So it was like a, a front runner, if you will. And I've always thought that was one of the best ones. And it recently got a cool rewrite on the fandom, which I might check out in a video. Let me know if you want that. But I think this is the proper, proper ratings for 9, 10, and 11. Level fun. Now, I actually am going to consider level fun very cool, but not above level 11. And that is because it is the embodiment of liminal nostalgia from childhood. Uh, level fun looks like an, you know a party room that you'd have a birthday party in which is obviously awesome and i've had you know many birthday parties in my day and a lot of them look like level fun and it reminds me of a grand time which was you know my childhood i mean now it's pretty good too all right so now we have the white out and the blackout which i covered in uh, one single video again they're all on my channel if you want to look them up uh, i think the white out is meh to be honest i feel like there's multiple levels that are white out that are just fully white it's a good concept, but I think um, that the one level I did where the, the bugs were behind the wall is a better concept. The blackout, though, I think is a very cool level, and I think it's very um, yin and yangy to the white to the whiteout level. But I think it just does a better job of executing and doing a, a specific world building as well. I don't know why I'm sounding so specific right now. This is literally just a fake ARG, but I don't care. It's immersive. So next up is the Hive. Now, I think the Hive has lots of potential, and I think it's actually getting a rewrite as I'm recording this, the hive could be very cool. It could be the birthplace of either all entities in the back rooms, or it could be like a mega organism. Uh, this just an entire level. And I don't think there's any level like that, except this one. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that, that video I did is one of my favorite videos. Too bad it tanked because it was like three years ago. Level 12. I like level 12. Um, I think it's going to be okay though because there's other glitchy levels that are better, but level 12 is literally just an error, you know, glitch. I like it, it's cool. Level 13, we're putting that in very cool. Uh, actually, we'll put it above the blackout. I love the apartments. I love it because that is such a, a core memory, you know, my childhood, it kind of looks like some hotel hallways and stuff. I just love that kind of vibe. So now we have level 14, or paradise, as it's been nicknamed. Um, This one is cool. It's, I'll put it a good because of its story. I feel like there's a pretty cool storyline there. It's very secretive. Not many people know it's there. There's like some weird cult stuff going on, and I kind of like it. So I'll put it. I'll put it at good below the hive. Level zero, obviously, I put it at god tier, simply because it's the first one, and I think it is the most noticeable and it is the most profound level in the back rooms. When you think of the back rooms, you think of this one, and I genuinely think that it is such a cool thing that kickstarted this entire creepy pasta and my career. Level exclamation mark, or as it's now known as the long forgotten exclamation mark, or as it used to be known, level run for your life. I will put that in the middle of very cool, above level 13, but below level fun. Another classic level, you all know what it is. Very cool concept, very scary concept. Many games have, have uh, recreated it pretty well. The Shady Grey. First video on my channel to blow up was the Shady Grey explanation. So I'm kind of partial, but I think I'm going to put it right below uh, the exclamation mark. I don't know. I really like the concept of the different sub layers, and I think it was one of the first uh, levels to actually do like a bunch of sub levels, so that's pretty cool. And like I said, it was the first video on my channel to get like over 100k views, which is cool. Level 15, I'm gonna put meh again. Actually, I'll put it okay because it's in space, or it's like a spacey thing. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it could have been done better. I 
it might have gotten a rewrite since I checked it out last. Uh, but the video that I did on it is pretty pretty good. I need to stop self promoing. This is kind of sad. Level one eight eight God tier. I love this picture it is single-handedly the picture that got me into the back rooms and it's a real life place which i'll be going to at a million subscribers if you didn't know it's so cool very very liminal picture i love the found footages and the pictures of it it's so cool now this is an og one right here the crimson forest which i'm gonna put at the very top of very cool this was an original safe level it got destroyed and has never been heard from or seen since um, there are some theories around that, you know, in the, in the, the canon and canonically, but I absolutely loved uh, the idea of it. Crimson Forest, Crimson Field, it was amazing, and I would love to see it come back in the future. Maybe, cross my fingers, who knows? Level 666 also is in the very cool category, um, simply the fact that it plays on your fears. And who doesn't love being scared out of their mind? So now we're getting into some uh, theorized exits. So that's going to be interesting. 3999 was another one of my first videos to really blow up. I think it's got over 1.2 million views now, which is insane. Above the blackout here. I love the like the liminal arcade. I love they have to complete these tasks to escape. And uh, we, we, I love how we still don't know that if it's an exit. You know, it, it's still up in the air. I, I really like it. And it's, it's very nostalgic looking because of the arcade type stuff, which is, uh, which is always pretty nice. Now the the end. I love this uh, this level. I think it's also getting rewritten right now and um, expanded upon. But simply, this picture is just so it's so nostalgic for some reason. It's just a, a liminal space kind of vibe that's been in the in the community for a long time. Level sixteen. I actually let me check level sixteen um, because I don't really remember. Call me fake. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Yeah, I remember this one. So this is the one that can change. That is a cool concept. I remember when I went over this one, it was kind of hard to convey in a video format, but I actually really like the level, I like how it can change, how it's glitchy. We'll put it at the bottom of good for now. Level 33, which I believe, what I thought, I love this level. This one is amazing. Uh, it also blew up on YouTube, but I put this in very cool, probably the above um, the apartments. I love abandoned mall aesthetics. It is one of the best aesthetics. I love levels around it. Who doesn't? Level one, my first controversial opinion. I think it's meh. I don't like the concept. I don't like the parking garage. I don't like the supply crate type stuff. It kind of gets a little too video gamey there for me, which I know I'm a hypocrite for saying that like level fun is is better but i don't know for some reason i don't like it i never really have i don't know it's just always been my opinion level negative zero i actually really like this level and one of the reasons i like it is because of how much controversy is stirred up i got about 500 comments on my video and they were all like you can't have negative zero that's physically important bro it's the back rooms dog you can't numbers are nothing it doesn't mean anything i really love the concept it's it's very cool it's very mind mind bending if you will now level negative one i'm gonna just do the the deed here and go look at this on on the wiki dot yeah i i don't think i like this one i'm gonna put it in meh it's just a little bland for me not not a fan now level two negative two i do remember liking this one yes so i actually really like this level it is very weird and it's very enigmatic and most of the time if it's an enigmatic level i'm all over it and i'll, I'll put it at the very end of very cool the hub one of my favorite concepts of a level a uh, level you can get to other levels from it's kind of like a train station type deal i really like it it's gonna go very cool uh probably above level 11. it's also a cool design very weird looking there's some really cool found footages that i've reacted to on my Tugly channel level unnamed I love this level. I really want to put it in God tier, but I don't I don't I don't think I can. I'm gonna put it above the apartments. I love the concept of the oil paint, that it's just a painting, and then if you stay there long enough, you become a part of the painting. That's pretty cool. Level point two. This was the first sub-level that I ever went over, and I think it's just it's either good or okay. I'll put it in okay. It's very it's a cool concept. It's like the first sub-level I ever found. It was in the um, my first video that was what was a what are sub-layers? You know? Uh, it's cool. I like that it's a, uh, it looks like it's a recreation of level zero that the, that the backrooms builders made, if I remember the lore correctly. So this is level 1.5, I believe. Let me look this up. Now, I remember this level used to be on the wiki not a long time ago, if I remember correctly. It's cool. It's like a little bit of, it's like in the middle of these right here. I like how it's grayscale in some areas and how it's kind of like fuzzy, but um, it got taken off the wiki dot, so. Level 404, of course, God tier. You know it's gotta be. One of the most OG levels, one of the coolest. It's all corrupted and stuff. It's, it's, I think it is the OG corrupted level besides level 12. Level 256, if I remember correctly, is... Yes, so it's, de it's demo scene, which it's funny because 
in my video about this, I accidentally called it Demon Scene, so it's demo, uh, demo Scene. It's a cool level concept. I like how it's just a, uh, it's very empty and, and, and abandoned kind of feeling. I love all those kind of levels that do that. I'll put it above one point. I'll put it right there. That's, that's pretty okay. Level 6.1, another sub-level that I first went over. We'll put that in very cool, uh, above unnamed. I love the concept. I love, I love levels where wanderers and explorers can come together and kind of chill without being eaten alive. You love to see it. And I think it's a very cool level. I know I keep saying that for everything, but it's that nostalgic vending machine type of vibe. Level two, another controversial opinion. I don't like it. It's going to the meh category. I, I'm not a fan of the hallways or the pipes. I feel like that's bland. I don't know. Like all this stuff up here is like so cool to me, but then you get down here to one and two and it's just like a, a parking garage and pipes. I, I just, I can't deal with it. Level 20, we'll put it okay. Just right above meh. I like warehouses. I think it's cool. I think abandoned warehouses and empty warehouses are very liminal. Level 777, I'm going to put it at the very top of good. That is a cool level. It's got some cool lore to it, some cool uh, anomalous properties. I really enjoyed the video on it that I made. Check it out. I'm going to stop sell promo and I promise. Level 998, God tier. The first level um, that got 500,000 views on my channel. And that was the first video that I premiered live. So I was uh, interacting with you all while I was premiering. I had like 10K views in like 10 minutes. That's absurd, and I only had like 30k subs. I love that level. It is a very special place in my heart. Uh, just the, the sheer amazingness of it is, is pretty cool. Level 999 is also there, but I think I'm going to put it right under the Crimson Forest. I love... Uh, it's got a really good rewrite that I just went over. I think you all are going to see that video before this. Level 999 is such a cool concept. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. If man's still alive, I really... I think I have not made a video about this. Yeah. Um, it's negative 15. I have not made a video about this. I don't know how to feel about it, if I'm being honest. I think we'll leave it at meh. It's not bad. Level 907. See, I don't know what this level is, so I'm just going to put it at meh. I don't know. I don't know what it was. If it was deleted or something, let me know in the comments if you remember what it is. This level is on the enigmatic list for the wiki dot, if I recall. I think this level is pretty cool. It's a little bit too similar to uh, level negative one for my liking, so we'll put it right below it. The grave. I love the grave idea. I love it being a mass grave for wanderers that have explored the back rooms and somehow have uh, met their fate. It's a very cool concept. And there's, sh I think there should be more levels like this with more um, mythos and stuff. I'll put it right below the uh, snack rooms. The end of the freaking world. I love this level, and I really enjoy the concept of it. It is so cool, and it's got some really dark energy to it. It's right up there with the Shaded Gray for me. I really enjoy uh, my explanation on it. It's really good. It's in the uh, top 10 most disturbing backrooms levels video on my channel. I have not gone over this level before, bro. This is cool. Well, looks like you're going to be seeing a video on this one coming soon. Just from how cool it looks, it's going to get a very cool. I don't, I don't know how I have missed that. What? Level three. Finally, a good level in the first top five that I actually like really enjoy. I'll put it at the top of good, the good category. I, I love the idea of the electrical stations and how it's all like this huge cog in a machine and how there's these bars that are electrified. That's a cool concept. I like that. Level negative nine, nine, eight. I love this level too. I love the, like the post-apocalyptic nuclear type vibe, how it's like a recreation of the USA and then the world. Very cool. Very cool lore. My video's a banger on it. I gotta stop saying that, dude. I'm, I'm so used to sell promo. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Level four, very cool level. Level four uh, is, is just a banger. I, it's literally up here with like the hub and the level 11. It's it's so cool, so vibey. I love the abandonment of it. I love the 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 idea that you can get the almond water from here. I love just everything about it. Level five is also right up there. A huge hotel with these weird creatures in it. That's it's such a cool idea. Hotels are very liminal, very personal, very cool level. Level six, I have mixed feelings. In a way, it's kind of lame because it's just dark, and there's really no other world building. But there is world building. It's like. This this maze of, of darkness that there's there might be something behind you, but there might not be. It's definitely gonna be in the good. I'll put it above level three. Level seven gets a god tier. It's always been my one of my favorite levels. It's such a cool level. I love water. I love uh, the lore behind it. I love the creatures in it. It's such a good level. Level eight is the final one on this tier list. Honestly, I'm gonna put it at the bottom of good. It has a better sub level than its actual level. Uh, level eight point one, I think, is better. But level eight is also a classic cave, you know, whatnot. So this is my tier list of all these levels put together. Uh, what do you think? Let me know if you would change anything in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite are if they weren't on here. So yeah, that was my tier list. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want more face cam content like this, more backroom stuff that's not necessarily level explanations, uh, like found footage reactions, like found footage rating, rankings, rants, all that kind of stuff, leave a like. I would love to do more. I feel like this is just more personal. But if you want more stuff like this, I upload on Toogly, my second channel. 
channel videos like this all the time. Thank you for everything. I love it. Appreciate you all. We're on the road to 1 million and I'm so happy. I cannot wait to get that golden play button. I cannot wait to stream it and I cannot wait to go to uh, England to the level 180 hotel. It's gonna be fun. Thanks for everything. I'll see you later. Peace.